Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Minecraft play sound command. Now, a very sad thing I discovered about my channel is that not a lot of people who watch my videos are subscribed, and I think it's like 0.9 or 1.9%. So, can we please try and get that to a 10% this time? And by doing that, uh, please subscribe and use the bell icon to make sure that you get notified with every future video I do. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've uh, color-coded the, uh, the types of commands from blue to yellow to red. And basically, blue is the easiest and red is the hardest, or more um, thinking is required. And the green blocks is where I'm actually going to uh, show you how to do the command. So let's start off with the first command. This command, so I'll just turn up the volume a bit, is the normal play sound command, and it's shown as uh, slash play sound Minecraft entity player level up um, at A, and it was, it's going to play it at uh, the command block. So when I press the button, you should hear the random level up. Now, as you can see, it's the normal level up, so the every time you press it, it's the same. So we'll do it, so it's play sound, play sound Minecraft, then it's uh, entity, and I'll explain after this why it's entity, and then you go player, and then we'll do random, or sorry, level, level up, and then we'll do ambient. So basically, the reason why I had to type in entity and player is because the level up uh, sound is specifically made for the player. Um, entities do, or other entities like uh, creepers, and spiders, they do not make this sound normally, uh, and blocks, they don't make the sound normally either, like an anvil, when you place it, doesn't play the sound. So um, different sounds vary, so if I wanted to change that to a block, um, you'd just have to scroll down and change this to um, a block. So after doing that, you want to do at A, and it's going to play the sound at all players. If you want to do it to the nearest player, you can do at P, if you want a random player, you can do at R, and if you want to do um, at E, that's all entities. But it's not not really useful because entities they won't really do anything if they hear a sound. After doing that, you want to type in the coordinates of where the sound is going to play. So by typing in the three titles, it shows that the command or the sound will be played at that command block. And then after doing that, um, you should be done for this one. So if I press it you'll get the same command as this. Now to get more customization with the sounds, we can um, alter the volume. So as you can see here, I've made it so that the volume is 100%, and it sounds the same as the other one. But if I did change the volume to, let's say, 0.1, you can hear, well, you might not be able to hear that, but the sound actually gets much lower. And just to show you how to do that, that's play sound, Minecraft, um, then you go entity player, and you can do this with any other um, any other Minecraft sounds as well, it works with all of them. Uh, level up, then we'll do ambient, and we will select all players, location, but this time you actually uh, add 1 at the end, or if you want it to be lower, you go 0 0.1, that's 10%. If you want it to be louder, you can go up to 200%, but you can't go over... Oh, okay, you can go over it. I don't know what the limit is, but um, you can get up to volume. And basically, if you get a louder volume, it means that the range of the sound can be heard from further away um, blocks. So the next one is actually changing or altering the pitch. So as you can hear in this one, We've lowered the sound, and it's basically the same command as that, except what well, I'll show you right now. So you type in the normal command, I'll just copy it because you know how to do it already. Except, so you add the volume, and then the next one is the pitch. So you, if you type in a 1, it will play the sound at just the normal pitch. If you make it lower, so let's make it 0 0.5, did I type that incorrect? Yeah. 0.5, it plays it lower, and then in the next command block, which I was going to show you, it will make it louder, or sorry, not louder, high pitch, if you um, make this number higher. So if we did 0 or 1.5, it 
you get that, and in some servers I've heard they actually go up to two, this is the max. And yeah, so that's basically the basics for this command. Let's go on to the a little more harder ones. Now, the reason why I say they're a little more harder is because it's not actually the uh, play sound command, it's actually the execute command executing the play sound command, if that makes sense. So basically, those commands back there were executing the sound at a certain point, no matter where the player was, it would just play it at that block. But with these ones, you can actually execute the sound to specific mobs, uh, specific players, and if they meet arguments and stuff. Okay, so with this one here, it's basically, um, if I go all the way back, it's basically executing um, the play sound command at a certain player, so at, oh sorry, not at a certain player, at not a player. So it will execute the sound at every other mob apart from the player, or every other entity. So as you, okay, doesn't matter, we will rewrite it uh, in this one. Slash execute at, and then we'll go at, at a bracket type equals exclamation mark player. Now basically, the exclamation mark means that it will not target the player, it will do everything else apart from that. And if you did take away the exclamation mark, it would then mean that it's um, specifically targeting the player. So after we do that, execute at a type equals player, and then run, oh, run play sound, and then you do, uh, let's do Minecraft, uh, or totem, or no, ambient, actually no, I think it's an item, if uh, totem of undying. Then you go totem, yeah, there we are, totem use. We'll do ambient, at A, um, we'll do that, and we'll make it so that it's not too loud, we'll do 0 0.5, just because I think it might get a little loud, and we'll make the pitch uh, 1. So after doing this, let's go near a mob. So as you can see, you probably can't hear me, but the chicken, let me get rid of it. As you can see, that did get quite hectic, and it was quite loud as well. But you could see that I actually, I actually executed the, um, the sound to the entity and not me. Now the second one is basically the same, except you're executing it to a specific mob. So basically, you're just replacing the um, exclamation mark a player with the mob you want. So with spider, it's going to play the Minecraft barrel open. So so as you notice, there's a spider, but when I press this button, it plays the barrel command at the spider, and that's because I'm uh, in this command, it's specifically targeting the mob with the sound. Last but not least is... Um, so next is the testing if there is a certain... Is testing if there is a block above the command block, and if it does test that there is a block above it, it will execute the play sound command. Now this is a little more complex because I've made it so that it's a very specific block. So it won't work if I place wooden planks above it. So I'll just place it. As you can see, it didn't do anything because it's a wooden plank. But what I've done in the command is, well, as it said back here, I've made it so that it will only work if I place a red concrete block. So if I get a red concrete, and I place that just on top, you can see that it, whoops, you can see that it worked. And just to show you, because I think I did it wrong before it wasn't on, if I do place the planks on top, doesn't do anything, but then if I do place the concrete on top, it starts making the noise. This is a very cool command, so basically it's just execute if block above the command block, so that's what that uh, one is there, is Minecraft red concrete. It will then run the play sound command, and it will run, let's say, block beehive, what I did just there, and then you'll do ambient, and then after that, um, whoops, you'd do at A, and then uh, you can do your uh, 
titles and then your uh, one one and that's basically it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you are new I like to post uh, random videos on Minecraft tutorials um, and if you do have any ideas or any uh, questions about my video please uh, comment down below and I try and read them as fast as I can and also if you do want me to make a video please comment that down as well and I'll try and make that video um, if I do know how to do it and also there might be a blog post for this I'm not too sure um, it's at my new website under my cap.com uh, you can go visit there to support me um, view, f view a few products and blog posts about um, previous commands I've done uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!